What's going on you guys? My name is Ben Can. Today we're with my dad, Aaron Can, and we're gonna be working on his 1960 Starliner. Basically doing a full tune up. We're gonna be putting on a new carburetor, new intake, new valve covers, pretty much new everything. So I think it's time to take everything apart and get all dirty. Oh man, <laughs> it's dirty. So the first thing we're gonna do is drain all the fluid from the radiator because when we take off the intake, we want the least amount of fluid coming out. So right now my dad's taking photos of everything. So when we take everything off, we have a baseline idea of where everything goes. So now that the coolant's drained and we took photos of everything, it's time to take everything apart. So it's pretty crazy with these old Ford FE engines, the push rods actually go through the intake. So you literally have to remove the rocker rail to get off the intake. So I guess that's what we're gonna have to do right now. So we pulled everything off the intake and it's ready to be pulled off. So that's what we're about to do. But this thing weighs like a hundred pounds, right? Yeah, I'd say at least. It seemed like it anyway, we're moving another one around. And the angle we're at is like you're reaching in there. So it's like, it's gonna be hard on the back. So we're just gonna do it fast. Do you have it? Kind of. Oh, look at all that shit. Ew. Okay, let's, let's I don't wanna just drag it. Cause oh, that there. gasoline. Yeah. Okay. Here, keep it up. Yeah. Can you get back there? You got it? Okay. So we took the intake off and it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but check this out. It is disgusting under here. Look at all that gunk. Oh my goodness, that's disgusting. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty grimy. Whoa, it's like totally hard. Gross. I wonder what that is. Just gunk Build over the it. ears. Yeah. Clean your engines. It's like breakfast cereal. Ew. <laughs> So I think we're gonna wrap it up for today, but get back to it tomorrow. But everything is so filthy, it's gonna require a lot of cleaning. So then it was time to paint the new four barrel intake that my dad picked up a few weeks ago. So I just finished cleaning up the intake. There's a lot more work than I was originally planning and I probably cleaned it up better than it needed to be, but I just wanted the paint to stick and clean up some areas. So we got the intake on the cherry picker. It's gonna make this job so much easier. I was thinking about it, if my dad and I just try to get it in there by hand, it would have just messed up the gaskets and everything. So this will allow us to safely, slowly put this intake on. So that's cool. The paint came out fantastic. And then another cool thing is we ordered a PCV valve conversion kit for the Ford FE engine. And it took a lot of time to find a kit for it. And you can get one of these for like 50 bucks or whatever. And it's gonna take all the fumes from inside the engine and then recycle it back in to the carburetor so theoretically it should be a lot less fumey so that's cool but yeah i guess we're it's time to put this in so my dad basically spent a whole day cleaning this engine bay it took a lot of time and it still looks dirty but it's nowhere close to where it was the whole block's ready to go so it's time to put on the gaskets So now that the rocker rails and push rods are on the car, it's time to put on the valve covers. And my dad decided to go with these Thunderbird ones, which are pretty cool, but you might be wondering why would you put that on a Starliner? But it's pretty interesting back in the day, Thunderbirds used the same engine that's in this car, the Ford FE. So I thought it would be cool. And they're chrome, so they look really nice. Those valve covers and the gold intake look so good. It's almost like a race car. 
So now we're ready to install this carburetor. Holly sent this out, so huge shout out to them. They sent out a bunch of different parts, so they're making this whole project possible. This is a 4160 600 CFM carburetor. It has electric choke, four barrel, so it's gonna be a huge upgrade. As you can see, we put on a metal fuel rail, and I'm a big fan of these because I just wanna eliminate as much rubber as possible from the fuel line because metal never goes bad. And we're also gonna be putting on a phenyl carb spacer. It should help prevent heat soak and give a little bit of horsepower, so I think it will be a nice little upgrade and the Starliner will be running happy soon. It's funny to see how shiny this engine is with the new carburetor, it looks great. So now we're gonna tighten down everything, put on the vacuum lines, put on the thermostat with the expansion tank and get it to a good place to stop for today. So I'm super stoked on how the whole engine bay is coming together. It looks honestly really good. I love the gold paint on the intake, but I think we're gonna wait for the next video to start the whole car up. We'll do a whole video on tuning it and taking it somewhere. So stay tuned for that, but I guess we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.